Do not pass the marshal. If I see people walk off, I will shoot you. Yes, Marshal. It's common sense. It's common sense. If he stops, we off. stop. If he stops, we stop. Right, bush. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> it's like sh it's like a shepherd and his sheep. Indeed, it is. It's like you did. Oh no! Oh no! No no! The lag's getting to me. Right, Hold up, let me catch up. Uh, so how do I uh, sprint? Wow. I don't believe there's sprinting in this. What's a so sprint button? Uh, there isn't any. No, 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 no. Gun. Why do I walk really fat? And why does someone have a rifle in medieval uh, Scotland? <laughs> We're not medieval. <laughs> why is there bagpipes not really loud? This is Scotland, what do you say? Mm. Yeah, I'm on AVP. I have souls in the VC, so means do you have kick permissions from the VC in the Discord? I do, but it doesn't matter that much. Don't, if it's really bothering you, you can kick him, I'm sure. Vet, please. I'm a vet. Right now. Yeah, I think I said to quiet down on the line, so if you could stop talking for a moment. Yes, Marshal. And use the VC if you like, but do quiet down. So, uh, when do we get cool helicopters? <laughs> Medieval World War II helicopters. Please, um, help me. I'm dying here. Right, once we get inside, uh, just STS in front of the, uh, little, I suppose, stand is the best way to call it. Yes, Marshal. Yes, Marshal. Yes, Kiai. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Ugh. Oh, this brings back so many memories. Right here. Adrian, I will have you stand in front of the podium facing the audience for this occasion. Marshall, do you wish for five five people per row? Or be fine, one it doesn't row? matter. Yes, Marshall. I think it's too, um, too far structured. It's looking like it might, um, I'll just change the size in a moment. Yes, Marshal. Alright, I'm gonna go to be the back right here. Uh, Min and everyone passed him to, uh, my right over here. Uh, go behind, uh, Vasily, go behind the second row. Yes, Marshal. So that means everyone passed him. Min and every- second Min row. and everyone passed him go into a second row. There we go. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. Let's say the non VC, but never mind. Uh, ow! Mmm! Start with a pen. Very interesting. Please don't stop. Please don't speak in Scottish unless it's. Should be ready. Please quiet down in the audience or I'm gonna shoot you. Good. Do you insist? Yes. Don't know what you're expecting. I really don't know. Adrian, you know why you're in front of everyone. You, in fact, know why this day is to come for you. Do you not? You've done nothing but talk shit about my entire kingdom, my entire empire, my entire dynasty. You've doubted me, underestimated me and my kingdoms for this past weeks. 
trying to form an ideology of something unsuperior to what I had in mind. And because you failed me to bring upon an empire for my arrival, you are being dismissed from my service. And you really underestimate me to the fact that you mistaken me for someone else. Oh, do you? Oh, do you really underestimate me? 576 Jordan Avenue. You want to underestimate that? Freaking Englishman. You want to underestimate that, then, Adrian? Get out of here. With him being ended, let me get on with the speech. He just another one failed this script, failed my orders, failed this legacy of mine. If you want to end up like him, then go right ahead. So let's get started with the show. Few of you remember this place, actually. And, um, well, I'm going to explain what this place actually is. Because from a time long ago, I was both nostalgic and also part of our roots. But for those who do remember, or do not remember this place, rather, you're about to hear the story of Scotland. Of this Scotland in particular. Two years ago, and I mean two years ago in real life, I was in an exact rally in which dozens attended. Around 35 to be exact. Two years ago in this Scotland, in this very castle, there were Europeans that excommunicated us from the church, of course. Why they did this, I do not know. They launched a crusade nevertheless. They launched it for corrupted and unholy reasons, and they deemed it under justification of excommunication. The year of the script at this time was 12,000 AD. The medieval genre during the Crusades. Scotland was under attack by the English, claiming us to be pagan. And Scotland defended its land from all of them. Every single one of them. And the Pope would join on this crusade for power. He himself joined in. As did the English, as did the French, as did the Holy Roman Empire and all the German states surrounding it, as did Spain, Portugal, Venice, Italy, Byzantine, Norway, Denmark, so on and so forth. It was the entire genre against one. All of Scotland. And the veterans remember this. It was thousands of men against hundreds of our men. Tears going this exact month, I gave a speech to inspire the men in Scotland to defend for once. It was the first time that we as Richters were ever entered a total war. It wasn't a war of glory, but rather instead of survival. As everyone shall patriotically for Scotland forever, afraid of what was to come. The enemy soon arrived. And we were outnumbered, 20 of us, and about 30 more of them. I didn't care one bit how many they had. For I rallied the men. We took our sword, we took our pikes, we took our longbows, and went to the gates to defend Scotland against all of them. Exploiters, do freeze all real quick. Alright. Unfly. So. Alright. They're going to try and attack us. So just listen. You don't really need to move around. With all that being said, we are outnumbered. We took our weapons, all of us, we took to the walls, the gates, and we stabbed the enemy as they attempted to climb up the walls, and the enemy attacked again and again and again and again, and eventually, they broke through, but we still held our damn ground, and we held our ground even further, through intense and massive efforts, and census was before a loyal ideology. My men expressed fear and defeatism, saying that we would lose eventually that, you know, eventually, even if we would stand for an hour or so, that we would lose, but as the proud Scotsman that I am, both in this game and in real life, I held my damn ground against those corrupts. And I would never in my entire life surrender to a corrupt, to a power-hungry individual. That would strip us of our culture, strip us of our loyalty, and strip us of our damn free will to think loyally. Against France, against England, against the Holy Roman Empire, against all of Europe, Scotland took mighty and strong. Where they could have taken our lives, they could have never taken our freedom, however. Our nation, our will to fight. So we stood tall. And we counterattacked, and we pushed the enemies back, three against one, back to their spawn. And the enemy left, exclaiming that we cheated some way or another. And we won that battle. So we counterattacked, a second crusade was launched, and again. And as many as they had, so went on the offense. And we pushed the enemies back as far as the Byzantine. Just halfway across Europe, if not the entirety of the way across Europe. Anyone from those times is a veteran can remember such a glorious past that was for Scotland. For we ate next England, and England engulfed itself in civil war and total destruction. We fought against an entire genre, and in the end, the genre destroyed themselves. But here we are, two more, two more years later in real life, and about 700 more years in game after that old genre. Today, it is the world against us. 
the roll against Scotland, the roll against Richters, but I shall never give up again to our old enemies. We never have before, and we never will again. Two years ago, we beat them, and we'll beat them all again. Even if it means more than 100,000 players against us, we have proven ourselves worthy and superior. For more than 1,600 troops await my command. We've been an entire genre of more than 10,000, so damn well, I surely guarantee we'll beat them again, of 10 times the strength. For Scotland will rise on these actions, they will rise again, and they will be what brings us back our victory and glory once again. And we'll be that nation again. Again. And again. The flower of Scotland blooms so beautiful, and it is us, one nation, against every other nation in this entire genre. But we will stand mighty because we stand ready for what is to come. So come and get us, anti-Richters. Come and get us. Traitors to my name. For anyone not with us is against us. And I will not hesitate to remove anyone that is of such methods. Scotland shall remain forever strong. For Scotland shall forever remain so powerful for this cause, for such a struggle. I was never afraid and never will be afraid of such enemies. Because I believe that we will win. Freeze all. Alright, go ahead and ban each and one of them. As I say this speech, as the enemy is attempting to spam, how pity of them. I believe that we would win, for it is our patriotic spirit that shall bring us victory again. When two years ago, our mighty, mighty veterans defended this old ruined castle against a thousand invaders. For now their children and our youth are fighting against 10,000 more once again. One people we shall be. And the youth of our youth will look up to us and thank us two years later, for we brought them glory and victory. For without us, there is no such thing as victory. The youth will look back. They'll look back at 2020. They'll look back at 2019. And they'll be thankful that we all fought to defend this land. They'll be thankful they can live for rather play in a nation that is actually not full of, you know, irrelevancy. What, is, what consists of the nations today, rather. And just for Scotland, not just for Scotland, not just for me, but to ensure that they can succeed in a group under the most valiant leadership this kingdom has mustered five times more than Italy has. And we stand ready and prepared for the struggle that awaits, just as our ancestors have done two years prior to this very day. They've not fought for themselves, but rather instead, they fought for Scotland. They fought so that two years ago from this day, we could live in a thriving state based off of a loyal ideology. In Scotland, people below me, listening, do you swear by such a code that you will crush these invaders again like our veterans did two years ago? Not with pike and sword, but rather with gunfire, with bayonet to the throat. Are you with me, comrades? Good. We rebuild this kingdom, for it once has had twice our current numbers, and it shall become truly what a nation is. For every hour, th every day, think only of this cause and nothing else. Only of this struggle and nothing else. Think only of attempting to pursue this and nothing else. For there is no other nation except Scotland, and all other nations are frauds to Scotland. And therefore, and therefore, they are all enemies to Scotland. For there is no one else but us. There is only one. And one people above all. And that is us. As a result of that. Rise up, fellow Scotsmen. Let our storm of vengeance break loose amongst our enemies. As we sing in song our anthem. Oh! 